Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be creating placement exclusion lists in our Google Ads campaigns. And this is going to be for YouTube and display campaigns. We're going to associate the exclusion list to those two types of campaigns. In the future video, I'll show you how you can make some placement exclusions for Pmax campaigns, but this is going to be for video and display campaigns. So first we're going to take a look and I'm going to show you how you can see where your ads have been showing, which websites and which YouTube channels your, your ads are showing on. And then next we're going to create those placement exclusion lists. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm going to show you where you can see which placements your ads have been showing on. I'm filtered on display and video campaigns. You can create a view by that those campaign types and it will allow you just to see the placements for those campaigns. And then we're gonna go into the insights and report section, when and where ad showed, and then we're gonna go to where ad showed tab. And this is gonna show you all the placements that your ads have been showing on. And it's gonna show it by the type and you'll be able to see the performance data. So we have sites, YouTube channels, and mobile applications. I did create a video on how to exclude mobile apps and I would recommend that you exclude all the mobile apps from your campaigns, your display campaigns, and I'll put a link for that above. And um, what I like to do is you can add a filter and choose select placement and contains game. And just to show you, there's usually a lot on display campaigns, a lot of low quality sites that are really meant just for people to click ads accidentally. So these gaming sites all here, um, I'll usually exclude anything that has game in it. So you can download all the um, placements that have games by going to download and then download as CSV. And you can also, what I like to do is to filter out and exclude anything that's not a .com or a .org site, uh, because a lot of times you'll see low quality sites that um, aren't .com sites. And on the YouTube channel side of things, I like to exclude any kids YouTube channels. And there are some websites um, like this website, uh, Barry Smith, he has a, a, a good list of kids YouTube channels to exclude. Um, I've excluded this in a campaign um, before for a client and I still saw kids channels coming up. So you have to be proactive on reviewing your placements and where your ads are showing and usually do it on a, a regular cadence like uh, once a week or you know every other day and um, review the placements and then download the csv file and you're going to grab the ones you want to exclude and then we're going to put them in the placement exclusion list which i'll show you how to how to do but uh, i'll put a link for this this website here uh, which is a good resource so that's how you do it so um i downloaded it the csv file and this is what it looks like and what we're going to need to do is just grab the placements that we want to exclude and then we're going to put them in our placement exclusion list. So next, I'm going to show you how to add a placement exclusion list into the Google Ads campaign. This is in a demo account now because I already added the placement exclusions to my client's account. So from here, we're going to navigate to the tools section. And then we're going to go into the shared library section. And then we're going to go to exclusion list. And then we're going to click placement exclusion list. And then we're going to click the blue icon there and create new list. And what I like to do is create a list for YouTube channels and websites. So first we'll do YouTube exclusions. And then you can go to the enter tab and you can paste in the, the YouTube channels that you want to exclude and you can add up to 5,000 rows here at a time. So in the example that I showed on this website that has the 8,000 kid YouTube channels to exclude, you can copy the first 5,000 and paste them in here, save it, and then open the list again and add in the remaining um, if you're using like a very long list that you wanna exclude. But I'm gonna add just a few YouTube channels as an example. So I pasted them in there and then I click add to placements and I added those and then I'll click save. 
and then that creates your YouTube exclusion list and then you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click apply to campaigns so now we're gonna apply it to uh, specific campaigns and click I'm gonna add them to my display campaign and a video campaign and then click done and those campaigns have been associated to that list so if we exit out we can see there's two placements in there two placements to exclude and then it's been associated with two campaigns and then you can do the same for creating a website exclusion list so you can click create new list and then um, enter in all the website URLs that you want to exclude and then associate it to your campaigns so that's how you create placement exclusion lists in Google Ads. Uh, it's very helpful and it's something you should do on a regular cadence on reviewing the placements that your ads are showing on and then seeing which ones look like low quality sites and or low quality YouTube channels like kids channels and then add those to the exclusions list and keep doing that. So it will help you avoid wasted ad spend and overall have a better performing account. If you have any questions on that, please put them in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer anything around Google Ads, LinkedIn Ads. So please just uh, put them in there and I'll, I'll try to help you as best as I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.